It's summertime in the city, but something's not right. It's summertime in California's farm-rich Central Valley, but something's not right. These boats should be on the ocean, not tied up. Something's not right. This looks right, but it's an illusion. Larry Collins should be out on his boat, along with thousands of other commercial boats fishing for wild California king salmon. Something's not right. This little creek right here is one of the thousands of little creeks that comes out of the Sierra. Well, now this water's not going into the rivers. I haven't been able to untie my boat for two years because this water here, this salmon water, isn't going to the places where the salmon need it to go. Before we came up to this mountain stream, we spent a couple days down in the valley driving around on all kind of little roads down there to, to see the agriculture in action. And I never really understood how big it was until we drove around. One morning I watched countless trucks filled with tomatoes going to the cannery. I drove by hundreds, thousands of acres of almond trees and vineyards and row crops. I watched entire rivers worth of water being dumped on alfalfa and cotton. I never understood how big it was before now, but now I see what we're up against. Lloyd Carter is a former UPI and Fresno Bee reporter. He's been writing about California water issues for more than 35 years. What we saw first there was the state aqueduct, which is the Sacramento River transformed into a cement-lined canal, which delivers huge volumes of Northern California water to the Western San Joaquin Valley and uh, about 20% of that water goes over the Tehachapi's to Southern California. For two years now, commercial and sport fishing for salmon has been banned by the government. Two years that consumers have been denied the opportunity to buy, cook, and eat what is considered to be the best salmon in the world. Salmon have been off limits because their numbers have been in decline. The closing of the fishery is intended to bring back the population, but it is a tricky business. It's tricky because salmon need cold, clean water flowing into the rivers and out to the sea. Come with me, I want to show you something. This here is the mouth of the San Francisco Bay. This is where the baby salmon go to sea and where the adults come back in to go up the river and spawn. This here, that's salmon water. Salmon need the same water as people do. And the demand for water in California is the stuff of drama, greed, and pain. You can see it in the headlines. You can feel it in the frustrations of fishermen waiting yet again to be able to make a living. When I'm fishing, I feel like I'm doing something productive. I'm supplying a product that people enjoy and like, and I'm sustaining myself and my family. Fortunately, I have a wife that works, and they're accepting it. But at the same time, I, I hear the question all the time, when am I going to go get a real job? And I've only been doing this for about 35 years. so. When someone asks me that, it's a very difficult, especially your wife, it's a difficult thing to answer. I tell my kids uh, the reason I'm not fishing is because there's just not enough water to sustain. 
the salmon. They don't see any salmon in the store display case, but they see a lot of vegetables. They, they can't understand why there's plenty of one and none of the other. California's Central Valley farmlands depend on water transported from the north. A complex system of dams and canals deliver water to growers and to Southern California's dense urban centers. In California, when you are in the middle of a serious winter storm, it's easy to forget a sobering reality. No matter how hard it rains or how many days of wet weather we're having, we live on the edge of a desert. And we have more people than the rainfall nature deems to give us can support. The state determines our available water resources based on snowpack measurements conducted towards the end of each rainy season. Everyone hopes for good news, that there's plenty of snow to keep water flowing for another year. But in those years that the snowpack is deemed below normal, all of California's water stakeholders are in a world of hurt. The demands on the available water resources are insatiable. It must be shared by people in agriculture and a third and silent stakeholder, the ancient and primal needs of nature itself. The water world of California is in a total mess. The delta is collapsing, agriculture is screaming, Cities are using the Delta as a toilet bowl for wastewater. It's the most mismanaged water system you can imagine. And you've got too much demand for not enough water. Uh, you've got agriculture, which still gets 80% of the water statewide that is developed from rivers through dams and storage reservoirs and canals. And uh, in California, almost everywhere up and down the state, we're pumping our groundwater supplies dry. California is on a complete collision course with disaster. The current crisis in the Delta is part in due to natural drought, but also in part uh, due to human factors. You see this over here? There's another 100,000 brand new trees. They just put these in. Oh, they might be vines. They just put these in, third year of the drought. They just planted them. Look at them all. My fleet's out of work for two years, and they're planting right in the middle of it. <laughs> 